Hey y'all, what's good over here? What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Get Since Night 2, my beautiful peeps. Bring you you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me, yours truly. I'm here. So here's another EP review of this amazing talented artist. I love her. I love her music. I'm a fan. Her name is Amber Mark. And I have pretty much gotten to Amber Mark's music, quality, and her nostalgia, and just everything that is so really amazing and cool about her. I'm going to get to since 92 Amber Mark music reviews. Um, she's one of my artists that I like playing a lot, all the time, nonstop. Um, she just recently released her new EP. It's called Lucy's. There are seven tracks, and I'm going to talk to you guys about, you know, sonically her overall approach, direction to this new body of work, and the tracks that I feel that I love. Actually, no, I don't just feel. I love them, hands down, period. So... With that being said, let's get popping as always, shall we? So, there are seven tracks. Number one is Desi's Child. Number two, Won't Cry. Number three, City Starlight. Number four, Sink In. Number five, Wait. So, yeah. Number six, Stop Calling Me. Number seven, A Little Burst. My standout tracks that I love are Won't Cry, City Starlight, Wait, so, yeah, a little verse. Well, Amber Mark, pretty much, with this EP, is a great body of work. I love it. It's beautiful. And what I love about this EP is very strong. It's fun. It's catchy. Um, it has, like, that psychedelic, eclectic sound of R&B pop soul dance with more of, like, the alternative sound. And Amber Mark definitely pretty much is a freaking musician, hands down to the T. Um, and I actually, when I was listening to like each track, sonically, her tracks have gotten a lot better um, in terms of cohesiveness, sonically. Um, it, and, and she's putting a lot of thought, um, a lot of emotions, vulnerability. But at the same time, I love the fact that with this EP, it's like, it's very like very um what's the word i'm trying to look for i'm trying to look for something called dynamic that's the thing and i'm and like i said i i try to like different words to express that's how it's like more of a dynamic approach because even listening to her artistry she has more of like that versatility of her sound and music and i feel like as i was listening to lucy's i said well this is a body of work that's worth listening to and she's one of these artists that really, like I said, she just has that, you know, she's right out the gate. You know, her sound is just very, very just amazing. I mean, there's something called the instrumentation that I feel that really got her, you know, as a musician. Like, she's more like a R&B soul pop artist with that dance approach. And even with that dance sound that she's bringing to it, kind of a little bit like that 70s, 80s vibe. And some of those tracks, they are like the high tempo, the mid tempo, the bangers on here. And I like how she just even fused with like the bangers on here that has a little bit like that R&B soul trap rhythm and blues. There is a song, actually, two, actually most of the songs, like this song called Won't Cry is more a dance r&b soul pop record it brings a lot of flavor it's groovy the bass lines there the production is like really intense and that's the kind of sound that she really with her vibe and her um artistry is like she just really just glides through so she blazes and snatch and then there's another song right here called wait so yeah and i said wait a minute hold up as I was listening to it, it was like R&B, soul, pop, but it had a little bit of like that trap infused to it. And I said, oh my goodness. I said, this song right here is like so just eclectic. It's just out of this world. I mean, I was like, this is a really, really, really dope record and a really body of work. I mean, it's like, I was listening to it and I said, 
Now, that's what I'm talking about. Stank Nova, period, hands down, period, in a great way. And I feel like when I even listen to her, you know, her music, even with Lucy's, I do feel like a lot of that, like, free spirit and very eccentric and even the dynamic appeal. But hands down, period, Lucy's EP, I feel like Amber Mark, she's pushing it to a different level. You know, she's enjoying that passion she has for music. And I enjoy musicians that have that love for music and just be creative and set trends and be innovative. So I feel like when I was listening to Lucy's, I said, this is pretty much a body of work that's solid. Um, and it's just something that's worthwhile. And it has a lot of those eclectic sounds and different genres mixed together. And with that being said, I'm going to give Lucy's a 5 out of 5. So, um, guys, and Mark fans, share your thoughts and your opinions. I love the art cover. It's cool. It's sassy. It's fierce. Um, and so stay tuned. The next episode gets to 92. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button as always. Stay tuned. The next episode gets to 92. Catch y'all next time. Love y'all.